Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Core Lust, and what you're looking at is a very unique tank. This is an underwater, very first that I've ever seen saltwater waterfall aquarium. And not only is it saltwater, but it also has a very special inhabitant, and that is this bobbit worm. This is a seven foot long bobbit worm, and this is pretty much our pet right now. We found him as a hitchhiker in some rock, and we decided to keep him because he was so cool. So everyone kept telling me he needed a deep sand bed, he needed a burrow. So this project we decided to set up for the bobbit worm and to show off our cool engineering skills with this underwater sand waterfall. So this is a prototype and what we're really trying to do with this tank, not only test out and make some fun projects, but get people involved. So this video is for those of you who aren't subscribers already and are interested in maybe starting a saltwater tank or maybe a planted aquarium or maybe just starting with some goldfish. We want to cover all topics because um, really everything's interesting. You know, saltwater, freshwater, coral, fish, invertebrates, uh, there's so many cool tanks that I've seen lately that, you know, I'm interested in everything. So I want to show you guys how this was done. We do have a bunch of footage we're going to edit for you and go step by step and go through the whole process. So this was a stand that we built just because we had some spare tanks laying around and this is pretty much all scrap parts that we had and we kind of threw everything together. So it's a pretty fun project and I'm excited. This is viewable from all four sides, which is truly amazing. I'm gonna put some Gorgonias in here and see what else happens. This tank is, like I said, it's a interesting prototype, something that, you know, we'll see for the future where it takes us. But I'm really, really intrigued by what could happen with this bobbit worm and you know how friendly he gets knowing that we're going to keep feeding him so this is like i said 460 viewable which makes it so crazy of course i put it near the wall so i have to get real close when i look at this side but it's still cool so the, the couple things about this which is awesome with this project okay not only is it viewable from all four sides not only is it amazing underwater sand waterfall tank, not only does it have a crazy bottle or a minute, but it does a few really cool things with the filtration and with the siphoning that you know you probably wouldn't think of right away. So we built this as a test system for everything. And we even left room down there for reactor. I would love to see carbon on this tank because carbon would clear this water up and make it sparkle but it may not be something we run all the time. So we'll see what we do with that. Um, and this is a reef tank plumbed through with the refugium. Some people may just have a hang in the back system. We are gonna show you guys how to design this with a canister filter as well. So we wanna bring in new subscribers to this channel. Those of you who are watching and haven't subscribed, I do um, welcome you, yeah. So please subscribe to this channel and come back for more fun stuff. We are opening a new fish store and it's going to be pretty crazy. We have some surprises like holograms and 3D projectors and different stuff like that. Virtual reality, um, interactive floors. So we have some crazy stuff coming for you guys who are close enough to come in and check it out. But just wanted to do this video first of all. Like I said, try to get some new subscribers. We do have a lot of Bob Warren fans out there. People kept asking for more and more videos and see the update. They're like, when is that Bob Warren getting a new home? And you know what? You asked and you received. This is the Bob Warren home. The saltwater craziness Bob Warren home. So there you go. I try to keep this under five minutes and that's where we're at. But we will come back more. Oh, look at this bobbit worm. He's tucking up here. And you can tell this is where I used to find him. You know, in the rocks. And he, you would just see these little tentacles out looking. And then he would poke his head out if something possibly worth eating would go by. So he may think he's hiding behind that leaf and not know we can see through the glass. Who knows? I don't know if this guy can actually see visible light. 
or if he just feel, feeds, feels everything. So we'll get more footage and more stuff about the Baba Worm and even do a fax video for you guys. But that's that for now. Got a little damsel in there. He can handle himself with his friend. So please leave your question or comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Stay tuned for more information on this system. And if you have any requests, don't be shy and feel free to ask. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.